boy, wiring these things <clears throat> is a lot of fun. All right, so uh, I fly FPB. I don't know who watches my channel still, but I fly FPB. Um, you know, race drones, race rigs, all that kind of stuff. I, I kept forgetting that the Solo had the capability to do acro and fly full manual, just like our race quads over here. So I'm installing a FPV system on this. Uh, pretty much got the majority of the wiring done already. I will be running my Hero 7 uh, with stabilization active, and I should be able to do flips, barrel rolls, all the good stuff, and long range with this setup. However, with this is only 200 milliwatts, probably only good for about 4,000 feet of range with signal. Um, but that being said, I can always switch this out to something like 1,000 or 800 if I like the way this flies afterwards. So I did put my Hero 7 on there. It is tucked down there with the uh, HDMI port. I will be flying through my goggles. I just have to finish wiring this CADX baby snail cam onto the front of the Solo and finishing a little bit of soldering here. And uh, I should be able to start showing you guys this beast rip in full acro, just like our race quads. Um, I think I am going to get the bi-prop, or the tri-props instead of the bi-props, because I don't think these can handle airflow nearly as good. You know, when we, we run tri-props on our race quads for good reason, very good air management. So these will do okay, but I'm not going to be able to bank, corner, or catch myself an emergency safety net if I need to have punch out. Uh, this is just not going to have enough power. So this is probably a better long-range setup for uh, flying manual, but... You know, when it comes to this kind of stuff, man, you, you just want to make smart decisions. So I'll be probably getting the Master Air Screw uh, tri props for this. And uh, yeah, I don't know how many of you guys fly FPV now, but the Solo's been able to do what our race quads do for at least seven years. Um, you know, you can tune these things too. You can go into uh, RG Copter and tune these uh, for your rates and stuff whatever your basic needs are so this is uh should i assume this will fly pretty good you know but i'm not gonna know until i take it out and rip it tater chip if i crash i crash i'll buy another one but i don't think i'm gonna crash you know I'll look at it like the dji fpv drone if you crash it's done well it's the same thing with the solo if you crash in full manual controls well then you crash you know but this is a lot cheaper to replace than the dji drone is <laughs> so i'm just saying